Now, a man accused of attacking a Pinellas Suncoast Transit Authority driver is in jail tonight. It's all thanks to another driver being on alert and spotting him. The driver who was attacked is recovering at home. And as Fox 13's Aaron Mesmer reports, police say that man is fortunate his injuries aren't worse. This is the surveillance photo sent as a warning to every Pinellas Suncoast Transit Authority bus driver this week. St. Pete police say it shows Obdulio Chacon sitting on a trolley at around the same time he attacked the trolley operator. It was a very brutal attack. He was unconscious. He was transported to uh, the hospital. Chief Anthony Holloway says the assault came without warning. This was an unprovoked uh, attack. Just like I said, it, when we looked at the video, he, the defendant gets onto the trolley, sits in the back of the trolley, and he's just sitting there while the driver's on his brake. Police say the driver was finishing his brake and getting back on the trolley, and he never saw the attack coming. And it starts punching him over and over again until he's down on the ground. And then the attacker took off. But Chief Holloway says the cameras on the bus recorded everything, allowing investigators to send out that warning. We're told Chacon was back on a PSTA bus the next day, and the driver recognized him, and police caught him. The chief says this isn't the first time he's been in jail. If you were to go and look at Tracone's criminal history, it's about 30 pages. This is at least the third violent incident against a public bus driver in Tampa Bay in the last five years. In 2018 and 2021, drivers were punched by a passenger. In 2019, a Hillsborough area regional transit bus driver was stabbed to death. That led to a series of security upgrades on buses, including barriers separating the driver from the passengers. Our safety and security team does a wonderful job training them. We'll definitely look at what we can do to improve because, again, safety is our top priority for our drivers. The agency says it'll look into whether additional safety measures are needed. Meanwhile, a PSTA spokesperson says these drivers deserve respect. These frontline workers, they're our heroes, and they should be treated as such. In St. Pete, Aaron Mesmer, Fox 13 News.